Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Now, I've got a treat for you. Tonight, a Kentucky native who's making a name for himself in country music is here. Wheeler Walker Jr. is one of my friends, and he is a great country singer. But let me also tell you, he's a little bit risque, but he's agreed to bite his tongue for an interview with me tonight on Hey, Kentucky. Wheeler, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. I'm on the back of a van on the way to Lexington. And um, like you said, unlike Rick Pitino, I'm going to keep it clean for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, Wheeler, well, you're you're from Lexington. How, when you were growing up, did you ever think a career as a country music star was in your future? Well, I'm playing a place called The Burl that I've never heard of, so I don't know if I really am a country music star. So does, I'm not sure if that counts, but no, I did not think that at all. You know, you uh, your your album is called Redneck Blank. I can't say what it is. But the thing I like about it the most, even though some of the words are a little bit uh, a little bit dirty, the thing I like is it's real country music. You are a real country singer, not like a lot of these pretty boys now, am I right? Yeah, not, none of this Florida Georgia line, uh, you know, Sam Hunt uh, garbage you got. This is real country made by a real country guy. And it's, um, like I said, it's hard for me to talk about it without using bad words, but it's a... Uh, it's the it's it's the real thing. Hey, I got a question for you, Matt Jones. Yes, go for what's, it. What's Rick Pitino got to do to get fired? That's a great question. You know, it comes out. I, I reported this morning that the investigation's almost finished. What's your take on the whole investigation as a UK well, fan? I mean, it's fun to watch. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't have mind. I wouldn't have wanted to go to Louisville, but I wouldn't have mind being recruited there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's probably right. Who were your influences in music? I mean, I think Hold on, I got, I, one more question though. Yes. Pati Patino's on the sideline coaching. Yes. The, other, the, the point guard for the opposing team dribbling down the court. Patino runs out and knocks him in the stomach with a big a knife. He, he turns it in. Is he, is he, what's that, three-game suspension? <laughs> At Louisville, I don't think that is a suspension. You might have to sit out a half, and that's it. Sit, sits out a half? Okay, just check in. Huh? <laughs> now, who are your music influences? Are you like me? I feel like you're like a Waylon Willie Merle guy. Yeah, I'm like you. I mean, that's the you really nailed it right there. I mean, Waylon's my guy. Waylon, Willie. You know, I love the old stuff, the Lubin Brothers, and uh, you know, going back to the old days. What's great now, I think, you know, as a, on a local show, is to me the best guys right now are Stapleton and Sturgill, and you know, these Kentucky guys are really killing it out there, which is which is great, you know. Your and all those guys used to. You're yeah, buddies with Sturgill, right? Aren't you buddies with Sturgill Simpson? Yeah, yeah. He actually is the one who introduced, introduced me to my producer. And like I said, Sturgill and Stapleton both uh, lived in Lexington for a while. So it's cool that they're, you know, tearing it up. It's great. Now, you grew up a UK fan. Give me some memories as a, as a kid. What was your favorite player? And what do you think about the team this year? Well, I, the, as far as the team goes this year, I want to hear what you say because it, it's sounding great. But, you know, I'm old school. When I was a kid, Rex Chapman was Elvis, you know, there was no one bigger than Rex Chapman. So I remember being, I think it was Vandy and we were behind and we came and Rex Chapman dunked the ball to go ahead. And I never heard the crowd. I was at rough. I never heard it so loud. Um, my greatest, I didn't see a championship till 90, I guess it was 96, um, which was basically an NBA team, which was cool. But um, man, he's last, I mean, uh, all praise to Cal, man. He's turned, he's, it, could we have gotten a better situation than that guy? It's, I mean, he's, he's the best. He's unbelievable. And, you know, this year's team with Bam Adebayo, Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, you're going to love this group. Do you like Do you like the fast-paced style? Because if you do, I think you're going to see it this year. Yeah, I love it. And the great thing, too, is, you know, when I'm out on the road, you, everywhere you go now, you can watch the Kentucky game you know, with all the technology and stuff. I mean, I'm talking to you from a McDonald's parking lot. So you can watch the game. <laughs> you can watch the games everywhere and, uh, you know, it's cool that, you know, the new players that you see, you can learn about them. Like in the old days, I didn't know anything about the freshmen because we couldn't get info and they didn't really play that much. But um, uh, while, I'm, while I'm at it, uh, I want to give a message that my dad always says, which is that Christian Leitner should have been kicked out of that game. He stomped Tim, Amino Timberlake in the, in the chest. We got video of it. I say, I say in retrospect, we won the game. I completely agree. The 92 title, they should just go ahead and give it to us. Were you a Richie, Darren, Pelfrey guy? Yeah, I love those guys. I mean, those, that was probably my most, the most memorable team. I actually have a theory on that, which is that, uh, you know, and I, obviously I'm saying this because we lost, but 
for us, the story ended there. Like, it was kind of cool that that, like, Duke had to go play two more. Listen, I, they got a championship. It's But they went on, like, the, the championship that year was like an afterthought, you know? No one remembers those games. To us, the story ended at the end. So it was kind of, you know, as far as story goes, it's a much better story. I mean, be, winning that game and then going to the, losing in the Final Four would have been no fun. So, you know, but, I mean, I'll never remember. I mean, no one will remember. There's no memory like that one, of course. You know. Tell me a story from the tour. I mean, like, this is not something I saw. I've known you for a while, and I'm so happy for your success. But give me a story like, what's it like on the road? I'm never going to be out there riding, playing music. Give me a story that you can tell on TV from the road. Well, I mean, yeah, most of the stories I can't tell. But um, we were in Spartanburg, South Carolina a few nights ago. And I, as a warning to all my Lexington friends, do not ever go to Spartanburg, South Carolina. <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst places I've ever been. And uh, anyway, the promoter wanted to take a picture with me. And I wanted to get, get out of Spartanburg like you never seen. And I said, no, I don't want to take I want to get in the van and go home. And he put up and he started leaving fa the promoter. It's a real country music promoter in 2016 started leaving messages on my Facebook page saying what a, a jerk I was for not taking a picture. And, uh, now, uh, it's a long story, but you, these agents, you know, where you play concerts and, and stuff, they got real mad at him. So now nobody's going to play his cruddy little club. And he basically <laughs> don't mess with, Wheeler, don't mess with Wheeler Walker jr. Is what you're saying. Ex exactly. D the two lessons don't mess with Wheeler Walker jr. And two, don't go to Spartanburg. I've never seen any place worse than Spartanburg, South Carolina. Last question for you. Give me a message out there to all the pretty boy bro country that I hate you hate, et cetera. If you could send a message to the Luke Bryans, Florida Georgia Lions, Sam Hunts, what would it be? I would say, well, let me put it this way. I'll keep the message short and sweet. I've got an, I'm going to have a new album next year, I'll bet. And when that new album comes out, they're going to be done. <laughs> done? Not, I don't mean done like, you know, they're, they're going to, I mean, the albums even that are out now, they're going to take off the shelves. It's going to be that bad. I'm destroying. <laughs> I'm going to destroy pretty boy pop country. And if you are a good looking guy, I don't want to hear your songs about heartbreak. I know about heartbreak. Look at my face. Okay. <laughs> Sam, Sam Hunt, you don't know anything about heartbreak because all you, no girls ever dumped you. So get I, out of country music. I love it. Wheeler Walker Jr. playing at the Burl tomorrow night. Go Cats. Are we winning the title? Uh, what are you talking? Of course we're winning the title, and uh, and uh, Rick Pitino ain't gonna coach another game. I love it, Wheeler Walker Jr. Thank you very much.